The Zone After School program is something Brandon and Tammy Day believe the late Connie Day would have fully supported. The program's mission is to promote the physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual well-being of adolescents in Northeast Nebraska. And supporting youth and community in Northeast Nebraska were two things near and dear to the former state legislator's heart. Prior to her death in 2001, Connie Day established an endowment that would allow her to continue to have an impact on youth in the area for years to come. You know, I don't think that at the time she created or the time she passed, she had that um, any specific uh, projects in mind. Um, but I, I will tell you that as we decide how to um, spend that money, um, one of the things that we always think about is, what if she liked this? Would have this been important to her? Would this been meaningful to her? To date, the Connie Fund has invested more than $250,000 into programs that educate, enrich, inspire, and protect children in Northeast Nebraska. The fund has been instrumental in a variety of projects, including the initiation of the Norfolk Youth Philanthropy Contest, as well as the one-to-one -one technology program that provided Chromebooks and iPads for each student at Jefferson Elementary School in Norfolk. The Zone was the latest program to benefit from the fund. Um, to help them to create a basically a three-year growth plan for financial sustainability staffing and operations and board development that hopefully then takes them to the next level of an organization where they can meet the needs of more students and um, you know be a larger presence in the community to help address issues. For Connie's son Brandon, who makes up the advisory committee for the fund with his wife Tammy, the fund provides more than a way to see his mother's positive impact on the community. One of the great things about it is not only um, you know you get to help your community and benefit, but here we are 16 years after she passed away and I get a chance to talk about her and talk about why she was a great woman and talk about how much she loved this community. Um, that's a very powerful thing. Reporting with Jake Groggy for the Norfolk Daily News, I'm Katherine Harris.